MailChimp versus Clavio, which is the best email marketing software. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be doing a quick comparison between MailChimp and Clavio, two of the industry's leading email marketing tools. Now, at a glance, both of these can seem like good options to get started. However, although both of these have a lot of similarities, the key differences between them can be the determining factors in whether or not you should go for MailChimp or opt for Klaviyo. So let's get into it now. I'm going to start off with the pricing on both of these. Now the pricing on both of these is pretty different. Now, if we take a look at MailChimp, they both have a free plan. However, Clavio is more expensive considering their plans. With MailChimp, you have different plans and you have three tier levels on their paid plans, whereas Clavio only has two. In terms of expenses, I definitely do think Clavio is a bit more expensive and although the paid plans are pricier, they have a lot of robust features that can be really helpful. Whereas MailChimp has a free plan for basic users with mid-tier pricing options available for slow growing brands. So if you're just in a industry where you're starting out, your brand is not that large, whereas you don't need a lot of capabilities, but still you do need to expand, then MailChimp can be a better tool. Now let's take a look at both of their interfaces and the, both of their interfaces are super nice. It's very simple if you take a look at Clavio. However, the features can be a bit overwhelming, but it's overall a very intuitive platform. And if we take a look at MailChimp, it's very simple and it comes across with a lot of guidance. So you always have a idea of how you can get started. Now, in terms of their digital marketing channel, if we take a look at Clavio, it primarily focuses on email and SMS, whereas MailChimp focuses on emails, landing pages, ads, postcards, social posts, surveys, SMS credits, and so much more. So if you guys go into the create section of MailChimp, you have so much that you can create other than just emails. It's definitely something that if it is a requirement for you, or if it's something that you're going to be using, it's going to be a great feature to have on hand. However, for some people, having these features can be pointless because they are only sending out emails and it's not necessary for them. So if you only are focusing on email and SMS, then Clavio has that covered in a very, very detailed manner. Whereas MailChimp has a lot of other tools that can be great accessories to your marketing channels. Now, for features, Clavio has in-depth tools for customization, segmentation, automations, and analytics and reporting. Now, MailChimp has more or less the same features, but in less depth, and the features are not as customizable as they are in Clavio. Now, for MailChimp, the ideal user would be small brands and beginners who don't necessarily sell products, but want an affordable all-in-one marketing tool to help reach diverse channels whereas Clavio is for larger e-commerce brands who need a more powerful marketing tool that they can integrate into their existing store and crm now let's go on ahead and dive more into the depth of both of these platforms so if I was to compare them side by side, we both know the key differences, but what exactly makes them so different and what is going to be your overall experience when you're using them? Because when you're using these two tools, a lot of the times people say, oh, I just felt like it was the same thing, but it's really not. So let's get started with segmentation because that's probably one of the largest, most important component of sending out marketing emails so if we go into clavio first you will see on the left panel you have a section called audience within audience you have growth tools specifically where you can collect subscribers with web experiences build experiences for your mobile audience integrate with third-party tools then you have lists and segmentations now you will see in active segments, you can create new lists and segments. Now within lists and segments, there is a different lists are going to be a static number of profiles. So you can build a list of the top 10 of your favorite customers. That would be a list. Whereas you can create a dynamic group based on certain properties. So if a customer is spending 
$10,000 on your store every two months, then they would be added to your favorite customer segment. So that would enter them into that particular segment. So these types of segmentations are very, very helpful. And then you also have profiles. You have the number of profiles, which is going to basically be your customers. You have the active profiles and the suppressed profiles and suppressed profiles that are unable to receive email marketing messages. So these would be people that have marked you as spam. So you can work on those particular contacts as well. Now, if we go into MailChimp, um, MailChimp email marketing segmentation is not as diverse and it's very basic. So if I go into audience over here, they have a dashboard, but we have one section which is called the all contact section where we can take a look at all of the contacts that we have present. Then we have the sign up forms next up and in our sign up forms, we can build forms. Then you have simple tags that you can use to categorize and then you have segments. Now in your segments, you can click on create segment over here, add a filter. The filter could be, you know, anything. It could be related to e-commerce activity. However, there dynamic updates are not as synced so the properties they are going to take a look at will be the current property and won't be the updated property as you go although it does sync up eventually it's just not as accurate or you know as uh, as fast as clavio would be now if we take a look at some of their automation tools automation is something that is also another pivotal point of you know building any email marketing tool because if you don't have automation how exactly do you ever plan on sending all these emails so automation it's used across almost 80 percent of the brands that i have personally seen and clavio lets you build behavior based trigger emails create customer profiles file segments in real time you know you have all of the basics covered and if i was to talk about mailchimp mailchimp also has some great automation tools i would say they're they're pretty much neck and neck in this depending on the level of automation that you require if i go into clavio over here i can click on create flow now, if I go into Claudio, I can go into Create Flow. It has Shopify integrations. They have goal based automations that are pre built. And if I go into MailChimp over here, I can go into Journeys and I can choose a pre built journey. And their pre built journeys have, you know, goal based and, you know, different types of leads as well. So they have find and welcome new contacts. You have nurturing leads. You have um, support and manage contacts, re engage contacts. So different goals and different types of emails are available. Now, I would say that for most use cases, if you are running a store that is larger and if you have a budget for email marketing, I would most definitely spend it on Clavio. There is no other way that I would go about it simply because Clavio is just more effective. And then if I was only dipping my toes in email marketing, I had no idea what I was doing. And my email marketing was only going to be there to serve as a stand holder, as a placeholder, then I would use MailChimp because MailChimp is free to use and their free plan is definitely a great alternate to using a lot of paid tools and can be a great way for you to get started and get your brand off the ground. But I would say with expansion, Clavio is necessary, but even as a smaller business, you can easily get by with MailChimp. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.